A few months ago, the rumor mill exploded regarding a collaboration between From Software, the creators of Dark Souls, and George R. R. Martin, the writer behind Game of Thrones A Song of Ice and Fire. Today, I'm making this video to tell you that, unlike Season 8 of Game of Thrones, these stories are actually believable. They're 100% true, in fact. Somehow, I've actually known about this for a couple of years from a source who was familiar with the collaboration. What I didn't know was the following. The game is, supposedly, called Great Rune. It's inspired by Norse mythology, an open world game that features horseback riding and involves the player traveling to various kingdoms to slay their rulers and steal their unique powers. These five points are unconfirmed, mind you, but considering that there's this steady and reliable flow of rumors right now, I'm pretty confident in them. Confident enough to get excited as hell. So let's dive into each point and see how much we get wrong before the project is confirmed at E3 in a couple of weeks. Consider maybe following me on Twitch so you can click the notification bell and get notified of our E3 stream, because watching that together is always so much fun. Let's briefly touch on George's involvement. We don't know exactly what role he has in Great Rune, other than being a self-proclaimed consultant. However, George is incredibly practiced at world building, his character arcs are peerless, and he's able to write that witty, flavorful dialogue to back all of that up. With him involved, From Software's writing and concept should be elevated to new heights, but considering George has books to write and a fan base of rabid readers snapping at his heels, I kind of doubt he has too much time to devote to this title, but at the very least, his name alone carries enormous weight from a marketing perspective, and Bandai Namco is definitely going to play that up, so I honestly suspect this game is going to reach a wider audience by word of mouth alone, regardless of how much consulting George has actually done. One of the coolest things about this collaboration is that George commonly writes these obscure hints and details into his stories, to the point where putting together some of these subplots is like putting together a puzzle, and this is just like what From Software does. While only a fraction of fans will discover these clues naturally, this writing technique nourishes our online culture of theory crafting and discovery, which is something that is deeply important to communities like ours. The game is also supposedly open world, which marks this huge departure from From Software's previous level design style. Now, every open world game is different. Some, like Shadow of the Colossus, for example, they use the open world as a way to change the pace as you head from major objective to major objective. Uh, some, like The Witcher 3, spend years in development just so they can fill the world with an immense amount of detail and side quests. One of my favorite games, Zelda Breath of the Wild, it uses the open world to make your journey feel like an adventure. It has numerous survival elements and visual landmarks. Now, considering that From Software isn't this enormous studio, it makes me wonder, what design goals will their open world fulfill? Our only clue is that we will apparently traverse this world on horseback, which gives us an idea of the scale of the map, since apparently it's big enough that we need a horse to traverse it. Personally, I'm hoping that From Software can innovate on horseback combat. That is always something that's lacking in these open world games. Our horse is said to take us between a multitude of kingdoms, and it's in these kingdoms that I think we're going to see a return to the tight, complex level design that From Software is so good at. According to the rumors, killing the leaders within these places will grant you their unique powers, which empowers your character as you forge forward and go on conquering. After Sekiro, I'm kind of hoping that they learned a thing or two about meaningful skill progression, because while Sekiro is incredible, it definitely dropped the ball with the combat arts and character upgrades. If these open world unlockable abilities are meaningful, and if there are RPG elements in this game, then it means that every player will have a different experience building their character and exploring the world, and this is a feeling that I would love From Software to deliver. While I'm sure each kingdom is unique, the game is said to be steeped deeply in Norse mythology, 
and in a couple of weeks, when the game is likely revealed, expect themes of gods, giants, and heroes, of runes, mythical creatures, and I'm sure there's going to be Yggdrasil, the world tree, and all of its realms. It's going to be fun to dive deeper into Norse mythology, but let's just wait until we have some visuals to bounce off of. And until then, I plan on exposing myself to as much Norse-inspired media as possible. If you guys have any suggestions, share them in the comments. Let's watch these TV shows, books, and games that can teach us a bit about the culture together. Personally, I'm going to be starting with God of War on Twitch for the first time this week, so click the link in the description and come talk about Great Rune with me. I'm excited. Remember to click the notification bell to be alerted of new videos and keep up with Great Rune, and I'll see you next time.